Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dave's Diaries in France. What have I been doing uh, since the last video? Absolutely diddly squat. For the simple reason, I keep on opening my wound. The finger. And it's, uh, I have now strict instructions from my wife to uh, cease, do nothing. It's very difficult when I can see that the grass needs cutting, the hedges need doing. I've got the DIY to keep on doing. I've got a door to put up in the jeet um, to separate the downstairs from the upstairs. I've got so much to do and when you're sat around sulking all day it, it doesn't help because then you've got we've now got fiber so I, I keep on looking on the jungle you know what the jungle is you know our, the favorite online retailer yes yeah, so I keep on looking at the jungle and that's dangerous because I, I it's like shopping browsing perusing and I have no money, so. <laughs> but it's, it's still dangerous, nevertheless. And then you start thinking, um, like, oh, what am I going to do when I've finished all the DIY and the renovation to our, our other house near Laval? And um, it, it's, it's like, oh, I've got my motorbike back down here now. It's out of storage. Um, I've got to refresh that yet. Uh, I haven't ridden it for four years. Um, but it so needs a clean. Um, it really does need a clean. And then I've got to clean my leathers up. I've got to see if I can get back into them. Probably not. I've got to go on a weight loss regime. All because of the finger. The finger. All because of that. That silly mistake that caused me this so yeah it's, it's um will i have time to enjoy my my motorcycling again probably not uh not in the current um current situation in france with the roads and the gendarme uh hiding hiding behind bushes and things like that um, I'd probably sell the Super Duke and um, get a track bike or a couple of track bikes, um, race bikes or something like that, and get back on the track um, because we're only an hour away from Le Mans and uh, I've always wanted to do Le Mans and um, so that might be something on the card so the missus suggested that um because we both had track bikes she used to ride on the track and uh, and we both rode on the track often um and we loved it um but things moved on um we moved down to devon and there were no tracks down there so we hardly used our bikes so we sold them all um but now we've moved to france um the wife she's still got her little cbr 400 and uh i've got the super Duke. and if we sold them we'd be able to get a couple of track bikes and that'd be great fun if we can get back onto that i'm not getting any younger though i'm 58 now um and things are start starting to uh ache but i've got four sets of leathers downstairs i've got three helmets the wife's got three helmets and two sets of leathers and they haven't been touched um i might throw up some photographs of me on my old track bike and um see what you think oh i'm just about to run out of battery i'll get back to you see you in a minute a few moments later Right, battery's now charged, so I can carry on. Um, so where was I? Um, motorcycling, track bikes, etc. It's it's a it's a potential idea because when everything's done here, 
All I'll have to do is uh, manage the rental of the jeet and also manage the, the grounds. Um, okay, it's quite a bit of work to manage the grounds and do the, uh, the veg, veg, I can't even speak now, uh, the vegetable plots and things like that and the harvesting of the apples. Um, that's all hard work, but you know, it's, it's within the parameters once everything's done. Uh, so um, it's a, it's a viable option, but when will every, everything be, be done? We're looking hopefully just after Christmas because I'm on the I'm at half the halfway point really um, with the doer upper. Um, so what have I got to, what have I got to do in the doer upper? I was just talking to one of my friends on on Facebook Messenger about what I've got to do, and I ran ran it through. I've got to complete the sanding of the ceiling upstairs and a few touch-ups with some um, some filler. That's it. And then it's paint. As soon as the paint is done, it's then uh, put the floor down, um, which is a, it's quite a large surface area. Uh, when the floor's down, I've then got to start building the kitchen. But along the same lines I've got to also fit the bathroom um, fit the bath in the bathroom put the flooring down in there so when the flooring goes down in the um, in the living room in the living area the kitchen and the living room etc I will do, be, be doing the bathroom as well um, and then obviously flooring kitchen furnishings blah 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 decorating the bedrooms there's not a lot to do in the bedrooms just uh, put another floor in there uh, to match the the floor going throughout the building and then that's the upstairs done and then the downstairs I've just got to complete the downstairs bedroom and shower room ensuite shower room um, which is new floor uh, actually no it's it's finish off the plastering plastering plaster boarding uh, along with the insulation and then paint and then new floor and then install the shower unit and basin etc toilet and then that'll be done um and paint the exterior of the house um with weather shield type paint um so it doesn't seem a lot but when you're a one-man band it is a lot because and, and you you're getting on a bit it, it does take a while because i haven't got all the equipment that i need plasterboard lifter for example um it's a joke me trying to put plasterboards up because I, I can't do it. I have to use props everywhere and they're all wiggling around. So it's, it's all a bit crazy. Um, but as soon as the finger's done, that's it. Drive, drive, drive. And I'll be there 10 hours a day um, doing it because I have to be. Um, so I'll keep my fingers crossed that this heals sooner rather than later. Um, so that's where we are at the moment. Um, I will put some uh, pictures on at, at the end of this video of my old, uh, it's not that long ago, eight years ago, eight years ago, yeah, or thereabouts, um, we stopped track riding or yeah, something like that. I'll throw a couple of uh, pictures up at the end and um, I hope I've still got it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, Subscribe if you want to, more the merrier. Um, click the notification bell, wish me luck, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Take care for now. Ta ta. I also forgot to tell you that we uh, uh, went to uh, Sunday lunch with uh, all of the um, the uh, Handy Shah uh, families. Um, Adopted families, not adopted, uh, carers that look after the, the puppies to train them like us. Um, we went to Sunday lunch with all of them and um, Una's brother was there. Uh, I'll put a little clip uh, on the end um, because she's from the eyes, from the nose upwards, it's Una. But she, he's thicker set, obviously. So that was that was really nice. Um Really nice, that same mannerisms and everything. And I'll put that at the end. Anyway, I'm going to go. Catch you later. Bye. 
Hello boys, where's Unique? Where's new? Where's Unique? Where is he? Unique! Unique! This is Una's brother. Hello Unique! Unique, how are you? How are you? Are you good? Are you good girl? You good? I nearly said good girl then. Come on then. Unique. Unique. Oh, you beauty. You are just like your sister. Just like your sister. Bit bigger, but just like you. Oh yes. Yes.